Hey everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Hey Stampaholics, today is the YouTubers Stamping Weekly Collab. And this week's theme is Paris in Springtime. Thanks Skyleen for coming up with this amazing um, theme. I totally love it. I was so excited and we kind of have like a sign up sheet going so I kind of knew like ahead of time what it was going to be. So I, I have a story for you. <laughs> so I went on to, um, let's see, I went on to eBay and I was looking for, I really wanted the Eiffel Tower in my nail art. And so I was looking for a stamping plate with the Eiffel Tower in it. And I found one and I found this other one and um, I thought I ordered it. <laughs> um, it turns out I only ordered the other one. I didn't order the one with the Eiffel Tower. Um, but that's okay. I actually, I didn't even know I didn't order it. Um, all of a sudden, like a week later, Uber Chic Beauty came out with a sale on some plates and one of them was her Paris plate. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that Paris plate so much better. But how many Paris plates do I need? You know? So I happened to be, like, a couple of days later, I happened to be on eBay, and I noticed there was something in my shopping cart. I'm like, what the heck's in my shopping cart? So I look. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was the pair of plate with the Eiffel Tower that I wanted. Um, it never got ordered. I, look at my, I looked at my history, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I never ordered it. Yay. Because I like the Uber Chic one better. So I, you know, went over there, and I ordered it. I got it in plenty of time. I did my nanny. Oh, my gosh, I completely loved it. Um... That's so weird. Isn't that weird? Isn't that a lot of weird stuff has been happening to me lately? I don't know. It's all good, you know, in the grand scheme of things. It's all good weird stuff, but weird, 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 weird stuff. But anyway, so I'm going to show you um, everybody's amazing nail art that joined this week's collab. And let me tell you, those designs are amazing. Not that like all of our collabs are amazing, but I don't know. I just really kind of like this, you know, this one's just really neat. Actually, they're all really neat, but I don't know. These ones are beautiful. So anyways, let's take a look at the clap photo and then, a, you know, a good close up of everybody else's photo. We'll follow up with my photo and then I will show you how I created it. Um, this week's technique is gel marbling. So you don't have to have water. You're not, I don't do water marbling. I just don't. I want to try to do it where you make a water marble thing and it's a decal. I might do a decal video and then put that in it. So anyways, all right, let's get out of the video, Patty. Be quiet. <laughs> so let's get started. <laughs> Today we'll be using Wave Gel's Maiden of Grape, Pink Panther, Clearwater, Mulberry, the Base Coat, and Top Coat, a Black Stamping Polish by Bundle Monster, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and Scraper. I've got two Uber Chic plates, the Uber Chic Paris plate, and um, this Uber Chic Yay Spring plate.
Okay, first apply the base coat and one coat of Pink Panther and then Cure. And then we're going to apply a second coat of Pink Panther and not Cure. And I've got the other three colors on this tin foil. Okay, so we're going to put our second coat of Pink Panther on. And this part we are not going to cure. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a dotting tool. And this is kind of what you do to water marble with gel without actually using water. I really love this technique. It is so fun and easy. When you get all three of your colors on there, then you're just going to kind of slide your tool around until you get a pattern that you like. And I'm liking how that looks, so I'm going to move on to the next finger. I'm going to drag the tool around, pulling it out towards the edges. And I like how that looks. So I'm going to move on to the next finger. I'm going to do the rest of them, and then we'll come back. Okay, I like how my water marble, well, <laughs> my gel marble came out. So now I'm going to cure it. Okay, so they've all been cured, and I have a shiny top coat and a white top coat on. So now let's begin the stamping. First, I'm going to use this little image right here that says Jetem, which means I love you in French. And I'm just going to put the black polish on it. Scrape it with the scraper, pick it up with my stamper, and put it on this nail right here, just like that. Okay. I added liquid latex on there because this is going to get messy. The next image I'm going to do is this one right here. to put that right on this finger here. There, I like that. On the rest of my fingers, I'm going to use this flower print right here. Let's see, on my pinky, I think I'll try to get part of the image from over here. Looks good. Like how that turned out. And I think I'll try to take some of the image from over here. And we'll put that right here. Perfect. The last one's going to go over here. For that, I think I'll pick up in the middle over here. And that'll look good right here. Perfect. Now we'll just pull off the latex.
I'm doing that over the paper towels because um, when you're doing that, the, the dried up stamping ink gets everywhere. There we go. All right, now I'll just clean this up and we'll come back for a closer look. Now that it's all dry, we're going to seal it in with the no wipe shiny top coat. There we go. All right, I'm going to do that to the rest of my nails and then we'll come back and take a close look at the design. Okay, and here's the finished look, Paris and Spring. So we've got the flowers and the Eiffel Tower and Je t'aime and some more flowers. I just love how this turned out. It's so cute. <laughs> well, I hope you loved it too. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.